What's up, YouTube? This is It's Die Hard. Um, I'm coming to you with a, a very old game here. Um, we're talking Tekken. Uh, Tekken 2, to be exact. Uh, when this game first came out, my brother spent $50 on the uh, on just the PlayStation 1 disc for it, which is, you know, pretty crazy. But he had he got it day one, you know, and, and all that good stuff. And uh, it was one of those games that it was really fun but it would make you extremely mad in you know the final two levels um as you see in the video here i mean i barely was able to beat kazuya here and uh you know he basically whomps the crap out of me for half of this video um i did it with jack too just because he's the e he's got some of the most powerful strikes in the game aside from devil and kazuya i mean couple of his little like hammer fists and it's the game over for you but as you clearly see I was you know getting it handed to me here because of that blocking stuff I wasn't I'm not a fan of the blocking as I get older when I was younger I loved it you know I always I knew how to really be good at the game when I was younger but not so much anymore and this is where because we have basically got a flawless victory on me but um uh you know visual wise this game at the time was you know top notch the audio quality was really good. Um, I mean, you look at the graphics now. I mean, I was playing this on my PS3. I downloaded it from the, uh, the PSN store because if you follow any of our videos, you know that currently I'm suspended off of Xbox Live. But uh, if you uh, if you compare these graphics to nowadays graphics, I mean, they're they're choppy and pixelated and all kinds of you know bad bad things. Except at the time when this game came out, it was probably some of the prettiest stuff you know that was available um you know at the time i mean we at that time we were still on you know the playstation one um people were spending you know two hundred dollars for a playstation one a, a little gray box um some of you may not remember the playstation one you may never have played the playstation one um but for those of you that do i mean if you're older like myself or or styles or even any any of the older gamers then they realize they know that when the PlayStation One first came out, when it came out with the the CDs, um, it was a four hundred dollar system. I remember my brother got one on launch day, four hundred dollars. He worked all uh, at that time. I think he was, I think he was, yeah, he was pretty old. I mean, he was at least twenty by that time. But yeah, I mean, he got it at launch. So, I mean, yeah, I mean that just goes to show the dedication that Sony's always had. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to revenue share on this video. Um, because it is owned by, you know, Sony Computer Entertainment America. Um, but, you know, the video kind of speaks for itself. I mean, even for as dated as this game is now, I still believe that the Tekken series on the PlayStation 1 was amazingly good. I mean, even though I got so mad at Kazooie here because he just kept hitting me with that spinning uppercut, I still, you know, really enjoyed just this quick run-through of the game. I mean, it took me about a half hour... At first I started out with King, then I switched to Jack 2, you know, and I pretty much was kicking ass with Jack 2 here after all the way up until I got to the Kazuya and Devil battle. But, I mean, at this point in time, if you're a retro gamer, if you've played these games, you know, then you know, you know about, you know, how this game played. I mean, the, the controls weren't, you know, stagnant or anything. They weren't confusing. It was just you had to get the combination right or the combinations right to do the moves that you wanted to do and sometimes the moves you wanted to do aren't the moves you ended up doing when you did the combinations um, a big a really good example of that um, like the tombstone pile driver that King could do or his Frankenstein you or even if you went to do his diving lariat or else sometimes when you did the combo for the diving lariat it would do the combo for the uh, the strong lariat or the clothesline from hell simply because it was the same way of doing it except to do the diving lariat it was tap twice towards your enemy and then you know hit uh, triangle and square um, but if you held them you would do the strong lariat and sometimes you know that that happens you don't mean to hold it but you hold it anyways and as you see Kazuya got a knockout win on the ground on a ground and pound there he's a ground and pound dude did you see that he's a ground and pounder but uh but yeah so as I was saying audio wise I <laughs> Okay, audio-wise, I would rate this game, um, I would say, at least, you know, 8.5 for the time. I mean, it's not, you know, surround sound or anything like that. It's a, it's a PlayStation 1 game. It's not meant for surround sound, but it, do, it did and it 
did feature the stereo sound very, very well. And, uh, you know, that was one of the good things. Videos, I'll say the FMVs were very unique. Everybody had their own special kind of, um, you know, scene at the end of the game when they, you know, beat all ten levels. And uh, Jack 2's, you know, it's kind of a, a sad one because... And this is why I hate Devil, because he does that, that flying laser and the standing laser. I hate them so much. I know I know the tricks to avoid them, but for some odd reason, I just was drawing a blank. And against Devil, Jack 2 is just so much slower. But uh, as I was saying, the uh, videos, everybody's got their own little ending FMV sequence. They're not too long, um, but they're, they're good. They, they add that little bit to the game to make it very enjoyable. Um, some other things... Uh, the gameplay, you know, I think the gameplay for this time, or when the game came out, it was very solid. I mean, I remember I stayed up, like, countless times, you know, to beat this game. I remember when my brother first got it, he didn't even have a memory card, you know, when he first got his PlayStation. And then when he, when he got this game, he still didn't have a memory card, you know. So he was playing everything without memory cards. So every time I'd sit through and beat the game with everybody to unlock people, it wouldn't save it. And that was one of the downsides. I mean, that's why we're so blessed nowadays with the hard drives and everything inside of our consoles because we're now able to, you know, save it no matter what. Back in the day, though, you had to have that, that, that preparial pre pre there. You had to have the memory card or some way to, you know, save the game. And that's where emulators came in. You could save the state. Um, but the memory card was the way to go when you had the PlayStation 1 and, like, the PlayStation 2. Um... But again, I mean, even with that miniature quirk there, I mean, it was still, I still very much enjoyed, you know, playing through it every time. It was always fun. I mean, as you see, as you see here in the final stage, it's standing up at the top there. I was about 11 minutes in, you know, into the run with Jack 2, and about, I went about 15 minutes. Or, well, I don't know how far I went with uh, King, but, but yeah, so I mean, I don't know, it's not too hard to get to the first eight levels, those are, well, the first seven. The eighth level is the special character that you would unlock when you're using the regular um, fighting roster. Um, and unfortunately, that eighth guy, depending on who it is, they can be a pain in the ass if you know him pretty good. I mean, I paused it there for a second, as you saw. I think some of the, t the attacks of Devil and Kazuya are definitely overpowered, but that's just kind of the way the game is. You know, I mean, but Jack, too, is a powerhouse in this game. I mean, his strikes are overkill. I mean, look at, look at, just two jabs from him, and that puts his life at a quarter of the way up almost. And that's just, you know, almost overkill right there. But then again with Devil, he, he does one strike, and, you know, I'm already halfway beat. But as you see, I mean, you know, one of those uh, cross breakers there, and bam, game over for Devil. Unfortunately, I didn't set it to one round until the, after I completed it. If it would have been one round, I would have had him in the bag right there. Now, uh, something else to consider... Um, if you, you know, if you didn't get to play this game, which I can't think of one person who has not played a Tekken game, um, I would, you know, would I tell you to go run it? I doubt you could run it now. Um, I'm not saying go commit piracy and go get an illegal copy of the game for a PlayStation emulator. I mean, if you've got a PlayStation 1, I'm sure that at some point in time you played this game, or, you know, your brother, sister, mother, father, grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, whatever, cousin, somebody played it, okay, somebody played it. And I'm sure they had a blast when they were playing it. I, I know when I was younger, I had a blast playing it. And even now, when I'm 24, I still, you know, had actually quite a bit of fun playing it. And it's just, it's mind-blowing because you think of games of nowadays in comparison to games of, you know, two generations ago. And a lot of the games nowadays still fall along that same baseline. I mean, I think that currently this is a very solid fight. I mean, yes. The newer games, you you know, they're they're kind of they're not. It's not that they're simplified. It's just you know they're not as impressive to me, and that's just one of those you know unfortunate things, I guess, when it comes to you know that. I mean, look at this. I mean, look. I had Devil beat right here, and then he just ghetto stops me, which is complete bull. You know, I should have one one hammer fist would have finished him off, but of course, auto block. You know, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, I know Styles probably played this game back in the day, probably back when, uh, you know, the regular Nintendo was still out, just joking styles, but, uh, but yeah, so I mean, everybody has played this at least once in their life, you know, as I was saying, you know, video, I would give that, I'd give that, like, you know, 
six out of ten. I mean, they weren't long. They were like, I think, 45 seconds is the longest one. And they were, some of them were corny, others weren't. You know, it just depended on who you beat it with. Like, I think that Jax was very, very sad because it just, you know, it didn't really have, you know, much to it. I mean, it was just him playing with a little girl for a second and then bam, he dies. You know, he gets burned up. It was unfortunate for Jack 2, it really was. However, the show must go on, and, well, Jack 2 is a, he's a machine in the game. That's the, that's basically what he is. He was like the Terminator. Oh, yeah, he'll be back. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, if you like retro fighters, if you have a PlayStation 3, you know, they have it on the on the PlayStation Network. I believe it was $5.99. Which I think is a little bit of overkill for this game, seeing as though it's dated two generations ago. Um, but it is still a fun game. So, I mean, I can safely say that I didn't mind shelling out the 599. I was going to buy the original Tekken, but I wanted Tekken 2. Just because, you know, King was on there and he was, you know, one of my favorite guys on Tekken 2. I, I loved playing as King and I remember... You know, and I'd play with my younger sister. She'd get so mad because I, I was so good at the game with King. And she'd be like, well, you can't be King. And then I was really good with, you know, everybody else too. And I'd even let her be Devil and I'd still, you know, beat the crap out of her. It was just one of those things. And I mean, I, I know the video is coming to an end here. But yeah, so audio, definitely, I'd give that 8.5 out of 10. Audio was good. Uh, video scenes, like the cut scenes, like I said, I mean, I would rate that... You know, six and a half out of ten. It wasn't exactly impressive, but it was good. You know, it wasn't super great, but it was all right. Um, and then, you know, for gameplay, I, I'd say seven out of ten. For a fighter, it, it had pretty much everything. You could do a running tackle, things like that. Uh, you know, you could have a lot of fun with the game. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed was definitely the... Uh, just, I mean, the menus had no no audio, and as you see the cutscene here, um, you know, Jack 2 is just kind of standing there playing with the little girl or whatever, and she, the little girl starts playing, all of a sudden the satellite just kills him. Kind of a sad, bummer ending for him, you know, about 20 seconds long or whatever, he's just like, eh, and then boom, dead. But yeah, so uh, this wraps it up, I'm Die Hard, you know, like, subscribe, comment, rate, do that, do that thing, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh, again, I'm Die Hard, have a good one.